She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features You found a Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana and I am so happy to meet you. Today guys, I'm starting off a vlog. Not sure what the title of the vlog is just yet, <laughs> but I'm starting off a vlog. I am going to pierce my nose today. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that, yeah. But anyway, in case you guys were wondering what the hell I'm drinking, it is this thing called Yerba Mate. I bought it in, you can see what it looks like there. So I bought it in Argentina when I was there a few years ago. Uh, this is my second pack I'm on. I just opened the second pack today. I have not really drank it for a while, but my energy has been really low lately. And today I feel like not moving, but I want to get a little bit of stuff done today. So I am drinking this to give me some energy. Um, it's really just bush, to be honest. <laughs> Let me show you what inside of the pack looks like. See? That's what it looks like. And um, I'm just gonna finish drinking this, then I'm gonna get ready. I picked up a little Amazon order at Tropical Express the other day. Today is Monday, by the way. Today is Monday, the what? Today is Monday the 26th of March of April. What am I saying? Today is Monday the 26th of April. And I went to Tropical Express on Saturday to pick up my order. But I'll show you guys it maybe a little later on. See you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Okay guys, so we're on our way to Arima. Well, I'm gonna run some errands first and then get my nose pierced. I forgot to let you guys know, like, I'm most definitely gonna, probably gonna cry for, get, <laughs> for the pain. I just think it's cute. And then Jalana's had, told, had mentioned that she has really bad sinuses, like, the way I do and having her nose pierced doesn't affect it and I was really scared of that that's the reason why I, I never did it before uh, apart from me not like in pain at all I mean the last time I pierced when I pierced my ears I cried <laughs> it hurt. so um, yeah I'm excited about that but anyway you guys um, I hope you like my little outfit you guys would have seen how messy my hair is and uh, let me tell you guys my little secrets every single time you see me wearing a hat if, it, if we're not on the beach every time you see me wearing a hat just know very well that it's because my hair is in a mess <laughs> right so because it's messy it's like okay let me show you so this is the way it looks right now I'm not happy about it, right? It looks messy, so I just wanted to look a little bit put together to go out and you put this on and easy like that, I looked like I tried. I looked like I put in some effort when I really did not. So that's my secret. <laughs> One of my top secrets of looking put together, right? Much, much, much later. So I'm back home now. It's been a minute, to be honest. Like I already ate and everything. So this is my nose ring. What do you guys think? Let me make sure. Let me look in the viewfinder. Make sure you guys can see it. What do you guys think about it? Is it cute? I'm thinking of getting a smaller um, nose ring. 
but I have to wait until it heals to be able to you know, do that so yeah this is it it's tiny and cute I like I quite like it oh by the way guys this is real gold they pierce it with a real gold ring um, my skin is very sensitive so if I use anything costume jewelry like it will not heal they only use they don't use stainless steel at all uh, at the jewelry store that I went to they literally only use gold alone to do piercings they pierce ears and um, nose I honestly don't remember the name of the store and then they told me that I couldn't vlog in there because for security reasons I completely understood so um, I'll just tell you guys about it anyway it was in Arima the jewelry store in Arima opposite um, it's near the dial in Arima and it's opposite uh, what do you call this place subway subway it was $125 this was also inclusive of the gold ring so yeah but that's that it did not hurt to be honest but like if I touch it I can feel it will hurt me I've literally just had a headache since I got home though so I just have like a nagging headache, but that's about it, you know. Um, they said it's supposed to take like a week or two to heal, depending on how long my skin takes to heal. Sorry if you guys can hear my nephew next door. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to share with you guys some, well, basically two items that I got on Amazon, that I purchased on Amazon, because you guys know that first of all i am trying to purchase stuff locally only trying to support local num that's number one number two i am really about only like buying stuff that i absolutely need as she says while well, she went and gets a nose piercing that she did not need but anyway <laughs> it's my birthday is coming up you guys so i'm like i'm like feeling like how do I say? I'm feeling like I don't know like I want a change kind of like so that's the most that I can say about that every time my birthday is approaching I always end up doing something drastic yeah so I guess this is my drastic thing for this year but anyway I wanted to share with you guys the things that I picked up from Amazon it's literally only two things and uh, they're things that I needed so yeah we all about that need life right and it i got these things pretty quick i placed an order i placed the order friday before last it arrived at my skybox uh in miami by monday and then by saturday it was ready it was cleared by customs and all that and ready for pickup by tropical express so i went to collect it saturday stuff because i was excited but anyway the first things that I picked up were these two glasses um, these are blue light blocking glasses by the brand more shine it came in this box first of all this box that just says I wear um, the box was a bit kind of torn a little bit but I'm not sure if this happened during custom search or what but it did not do anything to the glasses I got two pairs for only 19 dollars and some sense so like 20 us dollars and yeah they're blue like blocking glasses i got this little pack to go with it i would i would have liked to get two of these though i mean now i'm gonna use them in any case because i'll have them in glasses cases but anyway they are cut eye blue like blocking glasses tell me what you guys think what do you guys think mm. I quite like these ones like my sister really loves this one on me actually my mother has not seen me in it yet yeah um, but yeah this one I really love and uh, here's the second pair oh look at this this is this is one my personality is feeling like well bubbly because I mean like there are multiple sides to me right <laughs> there are multiple sides to my to my personality there's the super classy don't want to be seen 
Mariana and chic <laughs> and then there is the out there Mariana and this is where this one comes in but yeah quite like them they're rather cute rather sturdy I kid you not they're very sturdy you guys like they're proper proper ish I forgot children watch my um, my channel as well yeah this is the quality I'm trying to get you to see and they're handmade which is amazing I really think so and they fit my ears like I can show you this they fit my ears just legit perfectly it's almost as though they were made for me but anyway you guys they really help with computer screens and well any kind of screens at all they block out the blue light that like damages your eyes and hurts your eyes and stuff so I felt that this was a really 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 good deal like two of these glasses for only 20 US dollars like say what now I'm really impressed with these they're very nice very sturdy really amazing quality and I absolutely love them so if you guys want to get your hands on these then I would link them I have them linked in the description box below and this next I have to put on I have to use my phone and record this part for you guys because the next thing that I purchased is actually attached to my camera right now it is called the Urig vlog flip screen hand grip now for those of you who are new here then you don't know this but I use a Sony a6000 to film on and the screen does not flip up so I can never see if I'm in focus if I have something on my face if I have lipstick on my teeth I cannot see myself at all when I'm filming but that was always like one of the major gripes with me and this camera I have two gripes with it this is one so I have one problem fixed now now I can actually see myself let me show you guys like I'm gonna um, bring up my phone you see that there the way that it works I can see myself can you you see that yo I can legit see myself um, I did not have this <laughs> option before and let me like show you guys how it the, the whole setup yeah but yeah now I have an attachment that shows me myself I can see myself that's super cool <laughs> right anyway it came in this little bag it has this like leather full leather bag that it fits in and then it was also in this box right here you guys can see that and yeah super cool and it's very sturdy I am absolutely impressed with this this was also 20 US dollars I mean for this price it's like Y'all, I can legit see myself right now when I'm filming. I can tell. Like, I can see my nose ring and everything. And I can see my hair looking in a hot, hot mess. But um, before I had this flip up screen, I was always like watching directly into the lens to talk to you guys. But now that I can see myself, this is a problem. <laughs> Seeing myself is a bit of a problem because every minute I'll now be watching up at myself in the viewfinder there and not. I'm not I need to keep focus in the lens y'all can call me out on it whenever I'm doing it right but it'll take a little bit of getting used to because I'm not used to seeing myself when filming so please please bear with me but anyway you guys I think that's about it I'm not really gonna do anything for the rest I need to declutter my clothes that's another thing that I do when it's close to my birthday I always tend to like declutter clothes and like give away 
some and all of that but this year I what I want to do I want to because like it's all about like making money at the same time right so what I'm gonna do is I want to declutter some of my clothes and basically like have a pile for charity and have a pile for selling over to a consignment store so yeah I'm gonna do that but not today not today my head is hurting and somehow I think that if I go into those clothes my allergies will act up and I can't afford to like be doing this with my nose any right now because of this new piercing and it hurts so once this is healed a little bit and then and I'm not no longer really feeling pain anymore and I can handle like doing my nose this and stuff then I will get to decluttering my clothes and you guys can probably go through that with me I have a lot of clothes huh? a lot of clothes why does one human being have so many clothes I I don't have a clue I I really don't but the hard part is that I use I wear the same thing over and over again the same things over and over again so i really need to declutter clothes and be more minimalistic where clothes is concerned because i literally wear the same things over and over again i have favorites and those are all that i stick to so the ones that i'm not using i should just give away or find another home for it you know where people will actually use it more anyway you guys nice talking to you i will see you guys in the next clip guys so today is Saturday 1st May um, welcome to the best month of the year by the way even though we are on lockdown now thank you to all you ridiculous human beings who refuse to abide by the rules and by the law but somehow I feel as though the people who's watching my videos like I, somehow I feel as though like you guys are not like that you guys behave yourselves so you know what I'm not talking to you I'm only talking to those ridiculous people probably they won't even see this video in any case because they're too busy past very muddy the other day lots of people just standing outside in a big crowd masked down drinking who's drinking a beer drinking alcohol smoking like seriously it's ridiculous it's really is I am so frustrated and now for the second year in a row I will be on heavy lockdown car is passing sorry my window is open I'm using natural lighting today by the way anyway I'll be on heavy lockdown I mean we all will be but once again for my birthday second year in a row not even a little little bit of freaking freedom listen i do everything that i'm supposed to do and i think it's ridiculous that my freedom has to be taken away from me oh get this by the way get this police can now come into your homes and we listen we already know what goes on in this country and probably around the world as well but for sure in trinidad and tobago where we have police officers fully abusing their power well we just we see it all the time in america happening as well but we know for sure it happening here too right so i don't really understand like why y'all would even do something like that to make the PM decide to allow police officers who already are criminals by the way not all of them don't get me wrong not all of them but lots of them abuse their power and now they can come into your homes so now a lot of criminals can also bust into your door and br and and do all kind of thing bribe you all kind of things because we know that is what is going to happen i'm so very sorry if i'm offending any good police officers out there but i'm not talking about you i'm talking about the crooked ones which are most of them 
they're gonna come into your homes do whatever they feel like and then might even kill you and then say you will um, shoot in behind them first so thank you to all of you who decided to be an a-hole and refuse to abide by the laws and now this now this now this now this i'm so freaking pissed off you guys have no idea so mad i hate having i feel as though i did something wrong and i'm in prison it's frustrating and i know some of you the ones who are also who were also doing what they were supposed to do i know you guys can understand where i'm coming from the only people who won't understand how i feel or understand me period will be people who don't give a shit and was doing what the hell they wanted in the first place anyway kind of went off on a tantrum i honestly did not plan to today is saturday may 1st welcome to the best month of the year and i just wanted to talk about a few things and bring you guys a little mini pennywise haul because i'm not gonna do a dedicated um a dedicated video for just a pennywise haul this month oh you guys now i'm seeing a tweet i, I mean this came up on my notifications i wasn't just browsing the internet just like that but now i'm seeing a tweet saying that police shut down pennywise in trinity mall is that true if you know if you guys know anything about that please comment down below let us know oh guys so i met one of you guys in kechang carla it was such a pleasure meeting you and thank you so much for watching my videos i really and truly appreciate you and each and every one of you who does and it was lovely 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 i won't lie it's really nice to meet people that watch my videos seriously just the fact that i have other people uh, like people who don't know me like watching my videos that is like absurd to me so thank you guys so much also thank you to each and every one of you who reached out um about my dad and sister about my family basically in st vincent for those of you who are new here i am like i call myself a transcension my dad is from st vincent and my mom is from trinidad so i call myself a transcension and well we all know what happened the other day in st vincent and what they're going through and still going through with the volcano and all of that basically my dad he lives in the capital so he is in the green zone so him and my sister are safe i also have like cousins over there and aunts and my grandmother is also there and they all live on in the opposite direction from where the volcano is thank god for that so thank you guys so much for reaching out and being supportive during this time so let me show you guys my mini pennywise haul actually let me take these items out of the bag first before they make a bunch of rubber like this that you guys won't be able to tolerate so i have everything laid out in front of me and this is not in any particular order actually it is in an order this is in the order that that's on the bill that it was cashed it's in the order of this right first up i purchased this they have this band this banded together this is anorexin 40 and in 10 milligrams each just to help with you know the energy situation so next up we have this Krista G collection ashwagandha in winter cherry you get 120 veggie capsules um you're supposed to take two a day so this is basically a two month supply and this was $199.95 this is what it looks like kind of want to see this is my first time buying this um it was recommended to me so i'm gonna oh the bottle is nice oh i'm, I'm a sucker for good packaging i really love 
good packaging. This says it has no fillers, no binders, no common allergen. It is halal, USDA organic, gluten-free, cruelty-free. It's manufactured in India. You guys, this? love when things y'all know me y'all know i love when things are so are good for you I, li I like when they think about your health when they produce stuff but this is what the bottle looks like it's very very cute well i really love the packaging and well y'all know i'm not sure if you know this but i love rose gold you mostly see me wearing only rose gold and uh, um silver and look at this packaging look at this detail on this fully rose gold oh so nice let's see what these veggie capsules look like so it is and if y'all don't know what um ashwagandha is for it's good for your overall health this is what the capsules look like. Ah, nice. Just similar to the Vitex ones. So up next, we have, I purchased a bottle of Limacol. Y'all, this lasts me a very long time because I purchased this one before, like way before I started filming Pennywise Hauls and it's now finished. Um, so I purchased the same size again. This was $14.50. And well, Carleen usually purchases a really large bottle. The largest bottle I see her purchasing all the time. I don't know how she finishes it so, so, so fast. But yeah, I just, when I have headaches, I just put a little bit of this on my head and it really helps to relieve it so i use that and ibuprofen sometimes from you by cortex in long individually wrapped liners these ones i use on my light days so this one was eight dollars and fifty cents i want to show you exactly how they what they look like they're perfect for your lighter days like seriously perfect it's not like the regular thinner liners that you use when you're not seeing mother nature these ones are perfect for your lighter days so this is what they look like and let me show you the thickness it's it, it has a bit of thickness to it that's why i say it's like it's in between a regular sanitary napkin and an actual real liner so it's like medium it's really nice they call it surgical spon sponges but it is a 200 pack of 4x4 um, 12 ply gauze and this pack y'all would have seen me buy them in individual packs oh. go away, go away. yeah y'all would have seen me buy them in individual packets for like two dollars a pack or 150 a pack but it made more sense to buy this which was $65.95 and I get 200 in them so I don't need to purchase any more for the year and as you guys know I use these with my face toner I feel like everything is making noise outside right now the day that I decide to open my window anyway um now we're on to some always ultra invisible yeah, sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents. This is what they look like. So you get fourteen pads for sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents. This is for. I have a whole system with how I use sanitary napkins. I I literally buy like three different types of sanitary napkins. So I typically buy for daytime, which these would be for daytime. Or sometimes I use the number two in always. I believe number two. The green pack the green the ones that are wrapped green oh my gosh <sighs> that truck needs some WD-14 usually buy pads for daytime I buy overnight ones as well as the ones that I just showed you guys a while ago for the lighter days that's my system you guys would have seen me purchase this like probably like 
twice or three times before it lasts pretty long so I never really have to keep buying them over and over is everybody driving on that road today but um, this is the air freshener by WWG in the scent spring fresh and since it is spring time yeah I know we don't have spring down here in the Caribbean but I like observing it so since it's springtime, um, I'm gonna be using this one in my house and this was $17.95. Okay, so these are the liners that I told you guys about that I usually use. You buy Kotex 64 daily liners. These are not individually um, wrapped and these are just the regular ones and this, you got 64, right? This is what it looks like and it was $8.50. I feel like that's not right, but okay. Oh, this one was actually $23.95. Sorry. My bad. Oh, somebody's at my door. So I also purchased this um, 16 full ounces of rubbing alcohol in the wintergreen scent. I really like the wintergreen scent. And this was $13.95. This is what it looks like. And yes, I know I make my own sanitizer, but I really liked this scent. I also picked up this bottle of antiseptic liquid. I feel like they used to call this Savlon a long time, but it just says salve now. I'm not sure what's up with that but it's basically like a first aid antiseptic liquid basically um, this was $13.95 also yeah that's all so anyway you guys it's 9 37 in the morning plan for the rest of the day I have three videos to catch up from Jacob also I started binge watching yesterday this TV show on Netflix called Bacon the Beauty you guys oh it has me hot it only has one season though that's so unfortunate and I'm almost finished with the season I have three more episodes to watch and then I'll be done but luckily it's like 43 minutes and stuff like 48 minutes per episode so that's good gonna binge watch that gonna spend some time with my nephew because he just came he just came knocking on my door and um, I had to send him away very nicely <laughs> temporarily because I won't be able to finish filming this video but um yeah gonna bring him back over after I finish filming here and binge watch my Baker and the Beauty if you will give me a chance to watch Jacob's video. I need to sit and write a list of things that I would like to accomplish by the end of lockdown. Oh, the Baker and the Beauty is, is basically about, uh, I highly recommend it by the way, it's basically about uh, a Cuban family, really good looking older brother, had a girlfriend she's also very beautiful and sexy it, it just w wasn't clicking like they were f they were together for a while and then oh, I, I feel like if i tell you everything it'll be a spoiler nah just go watch it go watch it you guys would enjoy it and if you have seen it already right already then comment down below if you like it or not also wanted to let you guys know now that we're in lockdown i will be uploading twice a week on sundays and wednesdays it's gonna be y'all gonna get some lockdown vlogs so i'll be uploading sundays and wednesdays i'm gonna end off this video here because it's pretty long i'm sure of it. it's pretty long because my content from the other day was already 16 minutes long this video was meant to be wednesday's video but now that we're in quarantine this will be tomorrow's video which is sunday's video and then i'll see you guys in wednesday's video okay love you bye Mwah!